Hi there, breaking news for you from Ethiopia, breaking news from the Amhara region where bomb attack has been carried out on a bar frequented by foreigners. Foreigners visit this place uh, frequently. What is the name of the bar? Where was this attack carried out? Was it a deliberate attack on foreigners? What is Fano's position about this attack? And is the Ethiopian PM visiting the city where this bomb attack happened? Details for you in this video. Uh, viewers, uh, in last night's live chat, I reported about uh, hand grenades thrown at Amhara Media Corporation headquarters in Bahirdar City. Second attack in Bahirdar City on Amhara Media Corporation. We have seen several other uh, hand grenade attacks too in Bahirdar, but two attacks on Amhara Media Corporation in the past few weeks. But this attack on a bar happened in Gondar city. Infinity bar and lounge was the target reportedly. Infinity bar and lounge is a bar. It is located in Gondar city, in the heart of Gondar city. In Meraki sub-city on Meraki street, the bar is located. And uh, this bar is famous within the foreigner community. When foreigners visit Gondar, they sometimes visit this bar too. How many have been killed or injured? It's not clear. Only hand grenades were thrown at a time when bar was full of people reportedly. Foreigners were there too. The attackers did not fire at people. They just threw hand grenades and then they ran. So far, Fano groups have not claimed responsibility for this attack. Why? Maybe because foreigners could be the victims, killed or injured, whatever the reason. But Fano groups are distancing themselves from this attack. And they are not known, by the way, for, for claiming responsibility uh, for attacks on such establishments, for assassinations, though they are behind assassinations in the Amhara region. But you never see Fano groups claim responsibility for these assassinations, for attacks on civilian establishments in the Amhara region. Uh, again, no responsibility claims by Fano groups. Rather, Fano groups are accusing the government. They say that Ethiopian government wants to tarnish the image of Fano groups. It wants to paint Fano as uh, an extremist and terrorist organization in the eyes of foreigners. That is why government-backed elements carried out this attack so that Western world could be convinced that Fano is an extremist entity. This is Fano's position. We don't know if the attack was carried out by Fano or by Ethiopian intelligence agency elements. We don't know. Uh, this bar is located in Kabale 18. Kabale 18, I think there ha have been some attacks in Kabale 18 in the past too. Uh, meanwhile, uh, rumors are going around that Ethiopian PMRB is in Gondar. That Damascan Tirone is also accompanying him. We don't know. I could not verify that. Uh, I'll let you know once uh, verification is complete. Uh, was he there somewhere near the bar when the attack was carried out? It's not clear. 
Only confirmation is that Infinity Bar in Gondar City has been hit in uh, grenade attacks. Now, Fano's strategy is very clear, viewers. Fano groups have decided against large scale attacks. They don't want to operate in, they were operating in units. They never operated in groups consisting of thousands of fighters. They have been operating in small units. Now they have taken another step. Now from the operations in small units, they have changed towards uh, operations by individuals. Now they are carrying out hit and run attacks. They identify targets. The targets could be people, could be establishments, could be facilities. And then they send a few attackers who carry out the attacks. And these are squads, assassination squads. And their target is that they want to hit the identified places or individuals and then they want to run. They don't want to be captured and they don't involve their victims. They try to catch them off guard. They carry out the attack and they run away. This is now the new strategy of Fano of fighters. But in coming videos, if we find more information about this attack, Gondar uh, city has been pro prosperity party recently. Though, if you remember last year, at one time, Fano fighters took control of entire Gonda city. Then, military launched uh, a military operation. There was fighting on the streets of Gonda. Some APCs were seen on the streets of Gonda last year. But uh, gradually, we saw that uh, Prosperity Party expanded its influence in Gonda, uh, partly due to links. Of Zanash Tacho with Gondar. Zanash Tacho, Pim Abi's wife, is from Gondar. So, since Pim Abi's in laws are from Gondar, that is why it was easy for the Prime Minister's uh, wife uh, to get connected with the Gondar elders. Uh, that is why Gondar Fano, North Gondar Fano, remained largely isolated from other Fano groups. In uh, the recent uh, operations by Fano groups against military and in military offensive against Fano fighters. Let's see what happened so far. The attack on Infinity Bar and Lounge is being confirmed reportedly. Take watch.